Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Stranded Alien Dawn. So from the previous episode, we pretty much managed to complete all the roofing over here, but yeah, there is still a little bit left to do, but I'm sure that's going to be done in this episode as well. So talking about this episode, first we have to deal with the with a bunch of uh, aggressive animals over here and there are 57 insects. Okay, fine. Uh, everybody, I think we have enough food now. So let's grab everyone to go for a little excursion just out there. Now, whilst they are moving over, there's a couple of things we do want to achieve in this episode besides the unfinished roof. Ember? Okay, yep, we're not gonna waste any time, it, 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 it seems. I think with you, we're gonna pull you back just a little bit so you don't drag in everyone. Oh dear, come on, why, what are you guys doing? Shoot him. Okay, you run, can, uh, does anyone want to help Ken over here? Okay, they're fine, just minor scratches here and there. Uh, who's waiting? Emlyn. Oh yeah, okay, beautiful. So, a little bit further. Yep, we are gonna go a little bit slower with the attack over here, but um, besides the roofing, we do want to improve our electricity and... Um, oh wow, that's quite a bit. And after that, our defenses as well. Alright, Ember, you're gonna hit these guys. Let's get a couple of hits in. Uh, yikes, yeah, that's... Um, that's quite a bit over here. Someone is stuck as well. You've got three on you. Well, run away. Okay, he's knocked out. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I see. They are all attacking now. Well, we don't have a lot of defenses here, so there's no point just running away, is it? No. Yep, let's bring everyone a bit further. And we'll aim for the bigger ones first. All right, there we go. Ember, if you can hit this one as well. Everyone else. This one, that one... And we might want to start slowly um, building back. Yeah. Lara, how far are you? Okay, you're pretty far from us, so 31 still. Oh dear. I was hoping we can get more of them knocked out before they reach us. And there is another mission as well that would be lovely to go to. But I'm afraid there's just too many of those bugs. We might want to spread these guys out a little bit as well, if I'm completely honest. Um, okay, fine. We are gonna retreat behind this fence over here. Okay, Ember, get in there. And we want to take care of those bigger ones first. Almost everyone is in now. If they break the fence, that is okay with us. I think you can, get, uh, you can probably stay over here. Okay, that's fine. Right, here they come. Uh, hold on a second, Emlyn. Oh no. Here comes the big one. Okay, hold on a second. We've got hungry pests as well over there. A uh, bit crowded here, it feels. Couple over here that are stuck running this way. Oh no, I think we're fine though. Yep, another one is down. One over here. So I guess we can move these guys out <laughs> once again. Let's see what happens. Oh, one of them is already here. Emlyn, if you go over here, Nova, you might want to help out with this as well. Ember, we're just going to try and clean this up a little bit. Who's waiting? Okay, we've got Ken over here. You are a bit injured, it seems. Uh, two per hour. Yep, that's nothing. Quinn, you seem to be stuck. Nova, you're missing all of your hits. What is going on here? Nova? Okay, you're gonna take this one. Oh wow, let's speed this up. Uh, hopefully, well, there's only eight of them left, so uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to clean this up. Nova, undraft you. And everyone advance a little bit. Yeah, it should be fairly... fairly easy. There's only three left now. Yeah, sometimes it's a little difficult to hit the right ones, because... Uh, you have to get the get the cursor at the right angle. All right, come on, guys. That is the last one. Undraft everyone, and I think they do deserve to have the evening off. Well, that was a little intense, but yeah, just a couple of injuries. But uh, they'll be fine in no time. Just a... Oh. Hold on a second. There is still one left over here. Right. Sorry, Ember, but you're going to have to go and deal with this. I'm not really sure why... 
he's been knocked out for this this long but um yeah seems we are are we done yes we are done okay so there we go it seems quinn is quite sick no one's treated him before he went to bed oh yeah he's quite hungry as well but um i think we have nova helping quinn out right now and i'm sure we'll be uh, he'll be back on his feet very very soon cool so uh, our next goal really is yeah to improve our electricity over here and um, kitchen does need a bit of upgrading as well so right now yes we are doing the freezer which takes quite a bit of electricity to keep it running and i think a better way to do sort of like a, a storage setup is is to have air cons over here so if we look at number four we got the heat pumping queued up already uh, after which i think I think we'll go to advanced research desk over there, liquid fuel fabrication and then maybe silicon as well. Okay, leave the rest as it is. So materials wise, we're not too bad. Let's have a look if we can do some expeditions as well. No, we can not. You are constructing a wind turbine, which is fine. And uh, with the sort of um, items that we are gonna have here that take some electricity i think we do want to have a day and night uh, sensor over there because some of those items whilst they are asleep um, we're, we're not gonna use them so yeah we'll uh, set up some automation just to conserve a little bit of power okay scavenged uh, some more of these metal alloys and another uh, like a melee weapon it seems so that is good. Right, so fuel is a bit problematic. We do need someone. Ken, what are you up to? Salvaging, ember, uh, those piles. No, I think we... Wait a second. Where is the fuel? Oh, fuel was over here. Insufficient skill level. Liquid fuel, not enough resources. Okay, let's do the vegetable oil first. Yeah, stock is zero right now. Because we are using quite a bit for uh, for cooking as well. Okay, understandable. What we might do is... Why don't we create a another one here for the time being? Alright, Ember, really? Do you really need food right now? Okay, yeah, you are pretty hungry, so that's fine. Now, ingredients-wise, I do want to leave like 10 electronics in the stockpile. I guess 5 as a minimum. CP cores 5 as well so this means we can probably try and construct one of those over here oh and the metal alloys actually as well so why don't we pause you we already have three wind turbines and two solar panels so we might do it this way instead okay after we have completed them I do want to construct some more batteries as well so I think I think two will be enough, but let's just pause them for a, a second right now. All right, scavenge some more more items. Beautiful. So let's check if everyone is going to um, help us out with crafting first. All right, still sleeping. It is 5 a.m. Well, something we might want to do, especially once we get the day and night cycle operational. I believe the lights go out around seven, maybe six. So that's around the time we want them to go to bed. And the lights go on, I think, around 4. Okay, well, anyways, Nova's already doing vegetable oil. And Ken is... Okay, Liquid Fuel, you are gonna go up the priorities. And I think uh, the rest of them seems to be fine. Lara, let's uh, see what you're doing here. Okay, we're getting some hay, but whilst we are quite busy with crafting, I think it will be a good idea to improve our uh, sticks stockpile as well. We do also have something else in here. Oh, crystals. Oh yeah, 100% gonna need a fair amount of those, so we are gonna start quite a big farm over here. Now, something I think we haven't talked too much about, but for the uh, defense layout, I, I initially did try a few different setups, such as, um, you know, like a snaking path through here, because I thought it, it's maybe similar to RimWorld, where we fill it up with uh, traps and everything, and hopefully, you know, they get quite injured. But what it seems to be happening in this in this game is that um, the bugs even if you have like a snaking path over here with the um, fences in the middle then um, they will target 
first the survivors, so they end up destroying the fences and cutting straight through, which means they're not going to go through all the uh, all the traps. So um, yeah, my next variation was without the flamethrowers, so I made like a straight long path and put some um, traps and, uh, and and things in here. That seemed to work out pretty well, actually. After some time, you know, I started adding some flamethrowers, placing down some foundations as well with the automated turrets, so that seemed to be the best way to go about it. Now, with the motion senses, I, I do like them. However, it sort of felt like it's easier to have a switch to turn the defenses on. Um, rather than relying on the motion uh, sensors, because um, yeah, you, you, you do need to place them in um, pretty close proximity of the uh, automated turrets as well, because their range can vary a little bit. Okay, um, yeah, so this is kind of like how we, um, or how I ended up with the, when it comes to the design, something that we do need more in here, and since we have lots of metal right now, or the scrap metal, I think we can add a few more traps over here. Yep, that's definitely gonna slow them down. And once our uh, fuel stockpile is a bit more healthy... Oh, hold on a second. Quinn? Yep, uh, I believe we did have... Oh, it's uh, disappeared already, it seems. What does this one give us? Oh, nothing, that's just exploration. Large debris... Same thing. So, not a lot of options. And they take quite a long, long time as well, so we might want to do some more exploration. We do have a ton of logs, and I think someone has completed the roof as well, so that is fantastic indeed. Let's try and um, sort of defend or improve our defenses on this side as well. Cool, so the fence should be going from this side. I think that's how far we want to go. Again, the reason why we're building it this way is just to future proof ourselves a little bit and let's have a look on the other side the fence goes from here uh, right so one over oh bit too much and here we go let's um, snake it like so and as soon as we have enough um, enough fuel we can put some flamethrowers here as well which will be will be lovely okay so now the next things we do need to produce let's have a look Heat pumping is almost done, which is fantastic. Uh, let's have a quick look at the production material fabricator. Our production seems to be pretty pretty good right now, not gonna lie. So why don't we start doing some materials? I think for now let's place you here. Because that's gonna help us um, yeah, produce some metal alloys. Maybe we'll place you here. Okay, with this one now, active circuit, no, this one's gonna be none, and active will be number one, so that's daytime. With uh, you, let's uh, generate some metal alloys, until we have a hundred. Yeah, so with this as well, that's gonna take quite a bit of time, I think 24 hours, and you are gonna produce a 30 alloys, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Now, nanotubes, no, we do not want to waste the materials. Um, <laughs> so with you, I think 10 to start with. 15, how long are you going to take? Time to make 3 hours. Okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, CPU cores, we want a minimum of 5. We have 9 right now. Okay, right. And with you, since both of them can be done during daytime... I think we'll uh, stick you onto schedule one. You're gonna be running 24/7, I I hope at least. Batteries are quite full, and we have the materials. Okay, light and heat. What's new? Fan production. I think we need another bench here as well, and we can probably place you over here. Okay, Emlyn, uh, you should be cooking, but you are delivering. Okay, that's okay. Lara, you're bringing some stuff over. Ken, you're crafting. Quinn is researching, and the next one is almost done, which is great. Lovely, we can do the advanced research table as well. Let's place you over here. Okay. So that one is done. Quinn, how are you feeling? So you're 
pretty well rested. I think what I'd like to do is let's send you on a slightly shorter expedition. Is the flooring done here? No, it is not. So, let's cover all this with wooden floors. I think that's going to keep them a little bit more happier as well. And there we go. Everything is covered now. Beautiful. All the stockpiles are gone from this zone as well. They are all right here. Everything is still mirroring the first one. And um, I don't think we require all of them. Although it might be a good time to start... Oh, this might be too far because all the resources are here. Okay, let's do it this way then. For... Oh, okay. Scrap metal and electronics. Good. We didn't manage to move these ones over. But here we go. The last three will be a little bit closer to us now. And actually, never mind. We'll do the final one. I guess uh, right over here will be good as well. Cool. When are you home? No, you are not. We might need some more uh, silicon soon. Let's harvest these ones. And before we forget, we shall... Oh yeah, all the production ones were actually on this side. Right. How shall we do this? Everything's kind of in our way. Um, <laughs> I don't suppose we're going to do another gate in here, but who knows. Anyways, let's um, start a small farm around this area. When straight to researching, Ken is making fuel. That's what we like to see. Now, quite a few resources. I do think it's time to unpause a couple of these things. And um, I do want to start doing turrets as well, but... Let's have a look. Are you guys operating? A limit has been uh, reached. So, we're going to increase them to 15 and 10. What do you require? Silicon, metal alloys. Oh, right, yeah, we are going to need quite a bit of silicon, so... We shall further increase this field. Next thing on the agenda is... Let's tidy up this area a little bit. Alright, you can go and this one. And what is cool in this game is you can actually upgrade stuff fairly easily I think uh, reconstruct and oh wait a second food um, wood vents oh do we want to change them to bricks already uh, distance was right yeah so my take on the fortifications as well I do like them they have a lot of integrity compared to let's say concrete has 750 now, uh, if we go to fences over here, the strongest we can get right now is 250. And uh, brick is only 100. However, with the... If we go back again. With the fortifications, they are so high that uh, we can't really shoot over them. And we are going to need some towers placed around the perimeter. Uh, so, I, I think right now... We are not too advanced, so we're going to use those fences. I mean, in the future, of course, we can uh, probably change it around as well. It's not going to be a problem. And these ones, cancel orders, reconstruct, and bricks. I hope we have enough, but I guess we, we shall see. Right, so this side is not too bad. Let's have a look. We do want to start doing them on this side as well. Okay, lovely. Some traps are in. And hopefully once we have enough... Oh yeah, oils and fats. And another mission, Quinn. I hope you are ready, because you shall be going... So happiness, it is pretty good. So Quinn, off you go, seven hours. Unfortunately, it's quite early in the morning as well, so she, he should be back before the, before the evening. Right, half the defensive wall is complete, so uh, two white cap over there. Uh, one, two, so we can do another one. Close it up, and of course we are going to need some fencing. Not fencing, the uh, gates as well. Right, in the middle. Well, actually, I don't know if we're going to need them. Um, 
I think it would be lovely to have a shortcut there. And then access points in these locations. Alright, here you go. And it would be lovely if we can close you up. Expedition complete. Like, record what you can and return home. Alright, ancient language. So, great. You'll be queued up as well. How is our electricity doing right now? Production only 56 and consuming 62. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, this circuit is done. You are producing uh, 48 right now. Well, since you are making them from thin air, why don't we increase this to 150? Stones, I don't think we need them. We can still harvest them in the in the nature. But what we do need is... Oh yeah, we're not producing any electricity at all. What is a bit of a shame is that we didn't get a... A lucky start with the breakthroughs. I mean, the battery... Improved batteries are, of course, of course very good. Um, instead of 1,000 capacity per battery, we are um, getting 2,000. So that's... Uh, double the, uh, the amount, but um, yeah, we don't have the carbon wind turbines or the improved solar panels either, so it's a bit of a shame, but hopefully with some of the expeditions, we might just have a chance to to find something better. Okay, let's complete the, the fencing here as well, and I've just noticed that the uh, trying rack was a little further away, so I think with you it might be more beneficial if you're somewhere somewhere here, it's a bit closer to our storage area. Oh yeah, it's too warm in here as well. Yeah, that's probably because of those cooking stoves. Right, you take 12. <laughs> we go to another one. Production 56 consuming. Oh dear. That is a lot. Let's um, construct another couple. I think we are most likely going to try and create a slightly bigger field. Oh, someone's gotten stuck in the traps over here, so why don't we harvest you as well? Research-wise, how is stuff going? Right, you guys are taking quite a bit of time. Three days, three days, and five days for you. Now, something I do wonder is, because we have two research tables, if two of them are working at the same time, is that going to increase the speed? Aggressive animals. Oh, okay. I kind of too wish we had this area already done. I think it's time, everyone. Lara. No. You're gonna go back here and wait, because now is not the time. Harvest. Let's take this off as well. Yep, yeah, this is gonna be a bit tricky. And dangerous, but let's try and pull a few of them over. Okay, that's only a couple. And I think we might be might be fine. First of all, Lara, you are gonna stand indoors. Everyone's gonna move further except Ember, because your range is pretty pretty large. Okay, here we go. Why don't you aggro these guys? Yep, there we go. Uh nope, hit this one. Don't worry about the small guy. And here they come. This one, knock him out, everyone. Yeah, if we had those traps completed, it would be great. Uh, this one's scary. Can we sort of low-key aggro you? Okay, go back now. Oh, dear. He's coming. Hit him. Oh, no, that's going to be painful, isn't it? All right. Here we go. He's almost done. Yeah, if he um, had reached us, then uh, quite a few of our colonists would be in a lot of pain. Right, I think the rest of it now is probably just mopping up. Yeah, it should be fine. Lara, you can be undrafted uh, as well. And here we go. I'd like you to actually aggro pretty much everyone in here, because there's only 16 left. Here we go. Run back now. Oh, Lara, you really want to plant them right now, is it? I see. Uh, maybe you're going to change your mind. Yeah. I 
think it's better to run away. We are getting a little closer, but I think we'll be fine. There we go. A couple more hits. Only three of them left. Uh, Ember. Oh, yeah. They are a bit further away. One is over there, so why don't you two take care of this one? Nova and Quinn. I don't think we need your help. So, undraft, undraft, Ember. Okay. Done. Go home and have a good rest, everyone. Cool, so why don't we give them just a little bit of time to finish the uh, defensive fortifications here as well. And uh, then we should feel a little safer. Oh, Meteor Rain. That's, uh, that's a good event. Because then we are going to get some materials to cook up some more metal alloys. Although at this stage, I feel it's not as important anymore. Because we do have the material fabricator already. Batteries are looking a little sad. I think we're going to turn you off for the time being. Uh, you're going to go in circuit 1. And I actually forgot to check when do you turn off and switch because we do want to do our schedule based on this. Unfortunately, we can't manually set the day and night cycle. Yes, we'll have to keep an eye on it when the sun rises and sets so that way we can manage the um, most of the power consumers. Now with these animals over here, I think we do want to butcher them as well. So you are going to give us quite a bit of insect meat and the huge mantis. Oh, we haven't observed them yet. Okay, why don't we do that? Let's get this done as well. Ember, nice. We are starting to construct a few traps over here. And the next thing we do have to patiently wait is those crystals over here. So that we could work our way towards the mechs as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, mech core. That would be amazing to, to get. I can't wait to test them out and see how useful or powerful they are going to be when it comes to defending against the raids. Okay, well, at least we've got the traps in place. The walls or the fences are not too far either. Just moving in some uh, resources right now. And uh, liquid fuel fabrication is done now. I think we'll uh, switch them around. So let's do ancient language first and then... Uh, Silicon fabrication. All right, let's have a quick look over here as well. Generate. Okay, liquid fuel is here. 15, 24 hours. Okay, not bad at all. Let's have a look at our power. 164, 82. You take 25 alloys. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to build a few more. And connect you guys. Are you not connected? It's hard to tell. No, we are. Okay. Yeah, everything is connected. So that's... That is perfect. Let's have a quick look at the missions as well. Is there anything... New? Oh, wait a second. Ancient alien ship. But we cannot do it until we have completed the research. So that's going to take quite a bit of time. I think with today's progress, we can be quite happy. We have uh, improved our defenses over here. We've got some traps already on the ground, also on the other side. And uh, the fences are not too far from completion as well. I guess the next one, yeah, is going to be improving and upgrading them to, to bricks. And uh, yeah, with electricity, same thing. Seems to be getting better, so we'll just build a... or keep building a few more wind turbines and solar panels. And same with the batteries as well. And um, perhaps even in the next episode, we might be able to start constructing uh, some of the turrets. Uh, we'll have a quick look. What will they cost us? Okay, CPU cores and metal alloys for the machine gun. Missile launcher. I've actually never built one of those. But uh, a few more metal alloys, it seems. Oh no, exactly the same for all three. Laser 50... Right, so laser consumes the most. Okay, so I think we've had pretty good progress in today's episode, so let's end this here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.